Well, Pakistan's defense minister says Saudi Arabia has asked Pakistan to provide ground troops, planes and warships to help a coalition battling the Iran-backed Shia Houthi rebels in Yemen. Russia and the Red Cross are calling on Saudi Arabia to pause its military campaign against Houthi rebels in Yemen to allow for safe deliveries of civilian aid and the evacuation of foreigners. The Russian plea for suspension of the airstrikes came Saturday during an emergency meeting of the UN Security Council called by Moscow. Saudi Arabia has been leading an Arab coalition that has pounded Houthi rebels in Yemen for more than a week. Four rockets came down on our village and they said they were targeting a militia camp. Where is the camp? Is this a camp? These are sleeping Muslims. What is this? I do not know. May they feel the fear of God. Airstrikes continued Saturday targeting rebel positions in Sana'a, the capital. The UN says more than 500 people have been killed in the Yemen conflict in the past two weeks and around 1,700 wounded. Council members also reiterated their concern over the grave humanitarian situation in, that Yemen has been facing for a while. The Russian delegation circulated a draft resolution to the council members regarding humanitarian pauses in Yemen and expressed concerns over the humanitarian situation in Yemen since a long time. The president of the Security Council said council members hope to reach a decision on the Russian-backed resolution by Monday. Now for the latest on the situation, Zaid al Alaya, a Sana'a-based journalist, joins me by phone from Yemen. Uh, Zaid, uh, one thing that I think everybody would want to know is the Saudis have been really hitting at the Houthi rebels. Are they making any difference up to this point? Uh, you, you, you have to know, and like people have to know and understand that with every airstrike, they're not only targeting Houthis or military camps or military installations or weapon uh, storage that they, they talk about. These places are surrounded by villages, surrounded by citizens. Today, at, uh, in the afternoon, or let's, let's say at 4 o'clock, the mountain in Asr, in the outskirts of Sana'a, they targeted one of the military uh, stores, as they say. Eight people from one single family were killed, and more than 25 people were injured. In the same area, they, they, they attacked also before, two days ago, and they killed 12 people also. There are, like, with, with, with the fighting that is taking place by airstrikes of the KSA, led coalition and also the fights in Aden between Houthis supported by the army and southern resistance. Most of the death, most of the injured are civilians. Yeah. And so these think that they will get rid of the Houthis. If they do so, which is impossible, who will replace this? Now yeah. we all saw what happened in Mukalla because the army is busy, the military is busy. Al Qaeda came and occupied the complete area and they took seventeen billion Yemeni reals. Can now, you imagine Zayed. what Al-Qaeda can do with this amount in carrying different suicide bombing and spreading more? I will not be surprised if Al-Qaeda in Hadramaut or in other areas will announce an Islamic State very soon in Yemen because this is the Zayed. best environment for them to flourish. Zaid, uh, we know that the Saudis are even asking for more help from Pakistan, for example. Question is, from what you're hearing, do most uh, people in Yemen prefer that the Saudis stop hitting or attacking the Houthis in Yemen? If, if Saudi Arabia is thinking about that if strike will end, the, will end the fight with the Houthis, they cannot. If they talk about like having military or uh, forces inland, every Yemeni citizen will not allow uh, fighters from outside to come to them. People are talking about that the Houthi is supporting now tribes in Marib, tribes in Taiz and other areas. So they want the fight to be Yemeni, Yemeni. This is what they are doing. They are making Yemeni engage in war between themselves. Do you what? think this is a kind of help that these Yemen, if they save the money that they have and support like Yemeni projects, they do not need this war at all. This war is not targeting the Houthis. This war is targeting all Yemenis. One well, important thing that you need to know, that hospitals in Yemen, not just Sana'a, Sana'a, Aden, uh, Abbal, al are suffering and maybe they would not be able in less than a week to receive more people to cure. Medicines are not available because of the, 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 the siege that Yemen is put under. 
electricity blackout is uh, damaging the, okay. the medicines that are stored in, 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 in clinics or in labs. All right, Zaid. Hospitals Zaid. in Yemen will close. We know. Uh, okay, we will be watching this, and uh, hopefully you will give us some updates in the coming days. Uh, Zaid Al-Alai is a Sana-based journalist uh, reporting uh, from Yemen.